What's going on everybody? Noah from Stage 3 Motorsports here and we are at SEMA 2021. And I wanted to bring you three of our favorite Bronco builds from the show. There's tons of Broncos all over the place so I'm sure there's gonna be some of you guys that are gonna point out ones that I missed or ones that you think were better so definitely drop a comment let me know what your favorite build was if you saw it or if you were here but we're gonna kick things off at the Z-Roads booth with their four-door Badlands truck. The thing I really like about this Bronco is it's a bit more practical than some of the other builds that I've seen there's a lot of trucks here that are soft tops with crazy lights and stuff stuck all over them and they're sitting on 37s this thing's a little bit more real world and because it started life as a Sasquatch pack truck it was obviously already suited for 35s so they just swapped that to these trailblazer mud terrain 35s with a really nice set of bronze raceline wheels and it's also sitting on ibox suspension now so the overall stance of the truck is great and then obviously this is a hardtop model which i like to see and it's a hardtop with their new zeros roof rack on there that also has a cvt pop-up tent so this is kind of a all-purpose overland build and you know the tent's definitely focused for camping but it doesn't interfere with this truck in a way where you couldn't just go out and wheel this thing and enjoy it on the trail whether you were camping or not obviously because this is zero specific bronco build they have a lot of their new light brackets and options for the bronco here so you can see they have the fog light brackets in the pockets with their pods on that they have a light bridge across the front there's mounts for lights on the roof rack they even have lights underneath the rear bumper so there's a lot of new ways that you can kind of get creative and also ditch lights which i almost forgot to mention but you can get creative and really fill out the lighting on your bronco for the type of trail driving that you're doing and i think this showcases that really well some other neat things to point out obviously this has this deep dark blue metallic paint on it which i don't think is a factory color i haven't seen this anywhere in ford's listing that looks like they resprayed it to look this way and then added the bronze accents that tie in with the wheels and it's really classy it's definitely not in your face but it catches your eye especially with the show floor lighting you can see that metallic in there and they also have some rock sliders on here that are a new product from zeroes and they're really more of a step it's a slider step but i do like the look i like the kickouts and that they're tubular in design and i think it just finishes out the bronco build altogether all right, next up, we came out to the Toyo Tires booth and they have a really beautiful light olive green four-door here. And obviously you can see they pulled the top off. And one of the things I like about this is that they have tied in some kind of white and off-white accents with the green color. So you can see the roll bars painted, the front grills painted. They have a paint match Super 73 hanging off the back here. And then one of the other things that caught my eye right away were these white 1552 analog wheels because it's one of my favorite wheels on the market and it's actually what I have on my own forerunner so it really does blend well with the kind of retro modernized styling of the Bronco and then obviously with this being Toyo tires booth it's sitting on some 35 inch Toyo open countries and the build looks great. There's not a whole lot going on underneath. They didn't pile lights onto this thing and they definitely didn't dress it up with a lot of insane aftermarket. They went for just a very classy looking kind of fun summer rig. So fitting with that summer theme, like I said, they've got the 73 on the back. They have the surfboard sitting in the back seats and then they even did a tan leather interior to go with it. So all around, it just looks like a fun truck to drive and it's definitely fitting to have the top completely removed. This thing feels like it should be cruising down the beach in LA. So this is one that I would personally like to own if I could. The final Bronco we've got for you here has turned out to be a real showstopper. It's been hard to get into shoot video of this thing because people have just been crowding it constantly at the show, but it's here in the Ford booth and it's BDS's fire department Bronco. I'd say it's more like a fire chief kind of vehicle. I don't know how you'd describe this thing, but what makes it cool is this is a little two-door black diamond trim Bronco that's been cut down to basically be made into sort of a pickup. So what they've done is they've taken the original Bronco hardtop and chopped it to make it a half cab with a little bed on the back and a custom made tonneau cover with a bed rack on it. So that way you can load up all the gear. They've got a chainsaw and stuff on there as well. You can carry tools, axes, all the equipment you'd need if you were a firefighter. And then because it's a little stubby two-door, it also looks really good lifted. So it's got BDS's four inch system on here with box coilovers. They're running 37s. And then with all the little bronze accents from the wheel and obviously the decals and everything, it pulls the look together. And certainly the flashers add to that too. So you get a true fire department kind of first responder looking build. Another neat thing to note about this Bronco is that it is the smaller 2.3 liter four cylinder EcoBoost engine, but it is a seven speed manual, like the one that we have been working on back at the shop. So I can really appreciate the fun that you could have with a seven speed manual in a stubby two door setup like this. And I love that it is kind of a little single cab pickup in a sense. It makes me think of the old school Broncos where you could actually get those little tiny toppers or even the old Scouts where you had the same option. So that's gonna bring us to the end of this top three video, folks. And I hope you enjoyed these builds. Now, 
uh, like I said at the beginning, I know that there's a lot that we missed and there's gonna be some builds that you guys probably think are even cooler than the ones that I showed here. But if you are interested in taking a look at all of the Broncos at SEMA, we have a link down below to a blog post that actually covers every single Bronco we've been able to find along the way, just with a couple pictures so you can take a look at them. So make sure you click that link, check it out. There's a lot of other really good builds here. We just couldn't fit them all into one video or else this would be like three hours long. So anyways, thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. Thank you.